I need it. Eat it. It's just sitting there menacingly. It's taunting me. Constantinopolis. It says 120, 125% total war score cost. The Holy War CB decreases that to 90%, so it shaves out 10%. Apparently, Ottoman's administrative efficiency further modifies it by negative 25%. So, I did the bureaucracy reform for 2.5%. The next admin tech actually gives 5% admin efficiency, so... I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Also gives a yearly corruption reduction and production efficiency as well for the next... So... I'll take that. It's not gonna update now, but that should be... Oh yeah, dropped it, uh, Dropped it by 4%. So that's... 10% less of that should be 12%, so it should be about 109% war score cost then, so... Either Theodesian Walls is going to disappear, or we're going to sufficiently loot this and increase our admin efficiency up enough to uh, get it. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and vassalize Crimea. And then, we have pretty decent corruption. We have meritocracy, so that decreases corruption by a little bit. But then there are a couple of privileges that the nobility have that add a decent chunk of corruption. Familial service right there adds plus 0.5. Prestigious diplomacy adds 0.25. So that's 0.75 just from those two privileges. So I'm going to go ahead and actually get rid of... That. Okay, prestigious diplomacy. This would actually give a diplomat, so I'd have three diplomats. But this gives a little bit of improved relations modifier, base hierarchy, diplo rep. Yeah, you know what? I'll get rid of this one. I don't want that diplomat. Wait, no, I don't want I don't want to give them that. Negative 40 aristocrat loyalty. That should get rid of that uh, plus 0.25 corruption, so that should decrease our corruption even more. Alright, and then there are there are countries in the world that are, are yearning to join ours. So I'm gonna fight Serbia. And then I should get cores on these four provinces once I do take Constantinople. So I'm gonna take at least those. And then uh, the Albania region is also included in that. The Albania area. So I could take... Albania, potentially, who's only allied with Serbia. They'll call in Albania. Then actually, Morea. Where are they allied to? Serbia. Alright, I'll call in both of those guys. Both of those countries, all of these countries, and Serbia have 13,000 men between them. Show superiority. Yeah, because that's 75% aggressive expansion, 90% cost. Alright. As a fort level 2. Unfortunately, Wallachia is now a junior partner of Serbia. They have zero liberty desire. Let's actually move these guys over there. They'll take care of them down there. Corruption. 
potion should decrease. My map power decreased a lot, so my force limit is now 19. I imagine that's because of this. They give me less manpower now. Which is a trade-off I will accept. Where are you guys going? Bar lad. Alright, I'll hunt you down. These guys. Put them over here. I'll take this fort. Yeah, I'll take that fort. Move these troops over here. Our missionaries have finished their activities. Did they ever even go? I feel like I didn't lose missionaries. So don't remember where I sent them. It's been a couple days. it here? Couldn't have been that other province, because they're still orthodox. Followers. Yeah, well, that had been some province around here. Oh, perfect. Okay, they're gonna move all their troops into uh, Crimea, which is like, okay. They're, they're pretty far away, and that's not uh, particularly... I mean, I imagine it's decent territory, but... They want to go over there? Fine. Start carpet sieging some of these smaller provinces, fort level-wise. This high force limit is costing me a lot of ducats, though. Also, the fact that I'm not collecting taxes. Split that stack. Forty-nine percent status quo down in the south. Perfect. Alright, I also now have that extra diplomat. I'm gonna try to diplomatically annex these guys. I don't think it's gonna happen with the retinants, but I'll, I'll improve relations with them anyway. Their territory is... going to be pretty bad in terms of communication efficiency, so it's not something that um, I'm pining after. Oh, we maxed out with them, okay. Grab all of the uh, unforted territories. Given a little bit of ducats. We're losing four ducats per month. Ducat 30 for being over force limit. Five ducats to forts. A lot of fort maintenance. I'll keep them for now. Our 
air is extra missionary strength, alright. That'll come in handy. Imagine whatever I don't take from Serbia, Hungary is going to uh, finish off. What is this? Fort level... Fort level 2? They must have... Yeah, they have defensive ideas. They have fortification ideas. Let's see Fort level 1. Alright, I'm wondering... Widespread tax relief expired. I'm wondering how much money I would make if I don't... If I actually collect taxes. Looks like Grain Dole is about a duck in a month, so I'll probably... I'll, I'll do that again. Because that also gives National Unrest in addition to the 25% progress towards stability and negative 30% stability increased interval. I'll do that. I'll hold off on the taxes, because I'm curious. How much money will we... Collecting taxes. Alright, Crimea is fully occupied now. Take this province and then swing over. A decent amount of rebels. Looks like none of them are over 5,000 troops, though, so not particularly fearful. Alright, we collect 12 mana in land taxes, 4 in property taxes, 2.6 in salt excise, 1 in substance excise, and 10% of 1 in inheritance tax. So that is good for... to update. Everybody over here is scattering. Yeah, you guys better run. Okay, apparently nothing. It hasn't updated. So I have to go the full year again now in order to collect those taxes. Which is pretty annoying. Automatic investment, I'll just skip that. Heal those guys down south. Intend for these guys to uh, that. And we won anyway. Nobody can stand up to us. We have no manpower, though. Alright, the... there is a mission for conquering Bulgaria. 
give some permanent claims. Greece, Oltenia, Buntenia. Not particularly great. Most of these are just cl permanent claims. I mean, permanent claims are nice, but... These are just claims. That is uh, 30 aggressive expansion, Rome, Morea. Rome, Morea. Morea would be gone. Serbia, Retinids, Thessaly, Geno. Then I'll try and take. Actually, I, I can't take Albania unless I take this. Got some expansion, but it wouldn't actually add anybody else. Might as well. We'll take that. all those territories. Four ducats. And now we're over a force limit 2.7, so that must be pretty bad. 15. I'll uh, definitely delete some troops after this war. Need that one province. Because uh, I took this province, but then I couldn't take these provinces until I had. Oh no, I couldn't take this province until I had this province. The, the fort. There are no forts that you control thing. I now have that, so I'm gonna take 70 ducats, war reps, and then these three provinces, and then the five provinces. That puts Rome, Maria, Serbia, Thessaly, and Genoa in the coalition. Maria will die. Oh yeah, plus uh, Maria down there. Oh. Well, Hey, alright, we had the arrival of Ghazi. Unfortunately, it didn't happen before when I looted a lot more stuff. But that's, uh, something. Also, I think there was only 32 ducats, and we took 20% of that, but we got 68 ducats for some reason. That thing reminds me of, um, the way the old looting system was when you had to distribute it to your soldiers. All right, we're going to get some permanent claims. I now have claims on all of Wallachia. Wallachia. Claims on the rest of the provinces. Rome is allied with Ryzen. Truce with them ends 1413. You know what, when I did that truce, I probably should not have uh, added so much stuff. Should have just taken Philadelphia. That's alright. I think if the truce was shorter, I wouldn't have been able to take it anyway at that time, so. The other thing is if there's a different C CB that I can use, but the, ones, the only ones that I have access to now are... The uh, Holy War and the Conquest CB, which don't... Neither of those get me to... Annexing them. Let's 
using a ducat now, so we collect about three ducats from taxation, which is less than we were earlier. That's because our provincial corruption is now 71%. I'm taking a lot of territory, which is adding autonomy. 1% from burghers, 8% from aristocrats, 2% from clergy, 20% from states. So that's this, which is actually decreasing pretty decently. And then 32% from laws. Pay 5 ducats for forts, obviously, which is actually more than my realm expenses. A little bit more than my advisors and realm expenses combined. And the uh, ducat 47 from being force limit. Force limit dropped down to 14 now. Delete some more troops. That puts us positive. Also, 0.5 ducats over my navy force limit now. Capture some ships. Looks like I captured a transport. I'll try and sell that. I should be able to build a flagship, right? I'll at least see about building a flagship. Obviously, a trade route map would be nice. So... Fleet movement speed and engagement width. Actually, you know what? That's a duck at 37. I don't think that's going to be worthwhile at all, so I'm going to wait for that, actually. It's going to put me over my force limit as well, a couple more. And uh, it's not really, probably not going to add that much in terms of uh, trade power, so I'll actually hold off on that. Steph, I highly doubt that adds more than a duck at 37. Right, does anybody want to buy this ship? I want to buy this transport ship. Oh, would you look at that? Okay. I didn't even notice that. My vassal state got bigger. Alright. That is actually nice because I would have had to fight... Golden Horde to get their cores back. I think the Golden Horde just has about three cores, so I assume that stuff was lost to rebels. I did see some rebels over here. At least they were in Hungary. I don't know if they might have moved over here. That's what I assume it was, unless it was an event. Oh yeah, okay. Golden Horde, do you want to buy this ship? It's a transport ship. Yeah, they'll pay, they'll pay 20 ducats for a transport ship. I could build a transport ship and sell it to them for 8 ducats, like my Ireland campaign. I think I'll hold off doing that. That helps out a little bit with the uh, dropping fleet men. My knowledge share with them. They are unable to embrace any of our institute. All right, I don't think they make that much money anyway. They have five ducats of income, so that's like half a ducat. Not a whole lot. Our money situation isn't that great right now, but there's, uh, yeah, obviously this stuff on this screen, but then also there's this overextension which adds 0.1 yearly corruption and 0.1 monthly autonomy change, so this stuff will be, most of these provinces should be cored, 
once I form the Turkish Empire, which I'm going to do. In the past, sometimes I won't do stuff like that, but I'm going to do it in this campaign. I don't think there's any reason not to do it. And I get all those cores, so... And then I'll state all of those provinces, and then once I finish off bureaucracy ideas, which will... Give, uh, also give some yearly corruption reduction. I like saying that corruption reduction. This also gives a uh, admin efficiency two and a half percent, so that makes cores cheaper. So then I'll just mass core all of these provinces, which should further reduce autonomy even more. Uh, and then having non accepted cultures also. Oh, we have three promoted cultures. Pontic is a promoted culture? I think once I become part the Turkish Empire, I should get more slots for promoted cultures. I can do this, wear Imperial Crown. Switch to an Empire. Is this the one that uh, lets you have a union with all the cultures? Not sure. Or is that international importance? We're significant right now. No, we're not. Our dev is 689. Why did that say our dev was... Um, in order to do that thing that we just did, said that your dev had to be 800 or more. It's kind of weird. International importance represents the de facto strength of your government. For the de jure title rank of your ruler, consult the title rank modifier. That's the amount of alliances. Strong reduce the number of years you must wait to change your national focus. I think that's when you become hegemonic, you get the culture you can. But anyway, that'll help with uh, autonomy reduction as well, because unaccepted cultures adds. 0 0.05 to autonomy. And then also, once I get the next idea group, not the next idea group, but the next next idea group, which is evangelical, that should help me convert some of these provinces, which will help because religious minorities add autonomy as well. And then eventually, once I get rid of the aristocrats, once they lose control of my country, and that flips to the bureaucrats, then that'll reduce... That'll be a 0.15 monthly autonomy change swing. Yeah, so it's a, it's a lot of waiting right now. And then I can also do this to increase money to... Uh, how about my taxes? But I can't do that now because my stability is zero. Which ties into this, which is increasing my stability increase interval by 50%. So it's making it harder for me to get stability levels. And then uh, once stability, once I get rid of that 50% increase, and I do get this negative 10% stability increase, hopefully I can stack a couple stability points, and then I can do the corruption reduction decision that costs two stability points. So that should also help with uh, income. It's all tied up in Constantinople. Just gotta, just gotta get that one tiny province right there. That one province protected by 3,000 men. Oh, what's this decreased to 120%, 120%, and then it just now increased to 125%. Alright. Base plus 5, development 20. Oh, okay. Because their development went up to 20. So, if I could... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna severe loot them. In the past, it's worked where, uh... Provinces will lose a couple, if not more, development points to severe looting. Not sure in 3.0 though. But that's something I could do. Which is kind of counterintuitive since this is going to be my capital, but I'll destroy it and then uh, build it back up. Conquer a bunch of provinces, so I'll look at a census really quickly and then end the episode. With the exception of Constantinople and a couple of fringe provinces, we have a nice, contiguous nation. Now that we've taken that chunk... 
Alright, census. Pop statistics. We have 5.3 million peasants, growing by 30,000. Inward movement, 7,200. Outward movement, 4,000. They're just moving out of the country. Half a million nomads. 543,000 residents, dying by about 2,000. There's actually now more people moving into the cities than out of them. About 100,000 aristocrats. 15,000 burghers. 46,000 clergy. Our tenant wealth. So they... Yeah, they spend more than they make. Their life looks actually pretty good. Comfort's decent. Luxury. Less than ideal, but not horrible. Resident luxury is horrible. Yeah, the, the peasants are definitely beating the residents. Life, comfort, luxury. Yeah, definitely, if you don't invest in your, your cities, then they're not going to prosper. Pretty, uh... Pretty sound right there. Aristocrats are good. Burgers are good. Yet they're dying. Must be certain provinces where they're dying. Is there a plus 16? Or is you also nice? Ooh, deficit. Salt's good. Salt's good by a lot. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna catch up with food unless I start spamming irrigation. But that won't happen for a little bit. Fiber, a little bit of a deficit there. A little bit of a fuel deficit, actually. Raw materials is good. Massive exotic good deficit, not much is going to change there. Delicacies is good. A little bit of a luxury deficit, consumer deficit. Military is good, naval is good. Industrial is good. Knowledge, a little bit of a knowledge deficit. I think right now I'm going to save my money for Constantinople. So once I conquer that, then I'll pour a lot of ducats into building that up. Because I have no restrictions there, so I'll start pumping money into that province. So probably not going to spend much money. Just do the automatic investment and then whatever deficit I run when I fight people. When I fight countries. But I'll probably go a couple years now in peace. They do have decent war exhaustion, and then I have these rebels, so I'll probably deal with these rebels and then uh, go from there, and that'll be closer to us taking Constantinople, hopefully. Hopefully I'm able to loot this, because I don't think it's going to happen otherwise, because the... I assume the Theodosian walls just decay and disappear eventually at some point. Probably later towards mid-15th century. So I'm going to try to get it before then, by looting it, if I can knock this down five development points, then it should get to... If I can knock it down four or five, then the 90% Holy War CP should get that below 100%. Then I should be able to take it. So, thank you for watching. Goodbye.